It's PBA basketball by 1891 here on Triangle Media for tonight's in-state matchup between the Dallas Gamblers and the Fort Worth Firm. And right off the opening tip, here come the Gamblers into the forecourt, and it's TJ Mass with the running bank shot for the first points of the game. A quick start for the Gamblers here at home. They begin with a 2-0 head start. They down the white uniforms at home, Fort Worth in the blue uniforms. They almost turned it over initially and eventually did turn it over on their first possession. So a good start here at home for the Gamblers. A quick bucket off the opening tip, then a forced turnover. And they get the ball back already up 2-0, just 30 seconds in. Three-pointers too long. And here comes the firm. That pull-up three is off the mark. And so both teams exchanging a pair of misses from beyond the arc. Gamblers will slow things down, go inside to Mass, who scored that opening bucket. The fadeaway finds the bottom of the net. And he has the first two baskets tonight as the Gamblers lead 4-0 just over a minute in. Little pick and roll game. That floater rims off, rebounded, and put back. Guy cleans up his own miss. And he gets the firm on the board. That three is going to rattle in. First triple of the afternoon. And the Gamblers coming out hot offensively, building the 7-2 head start. But right to the rim for the and one and the bucket. Comes back with Fort Worth. First free throw of the game is good. So J.R. Duffy was the one with the putback. Chuck Guy now with the and one for Fort Worth. Dallas had the new school three-point play, followed up by the old school three-point play for Fort Worth to get it back to a two-point game. Now a steal. The firm can tie it up here with the basket in transition, and they'll do exactly that. Jeremy Matthews flips it up and in. And a fast paced beginning, it's 7-7 already. We're not even two minutes in. A high scoring start for these two. And a near steal once again for Fort Worth. But the firm knocked the ball out of bounds. Dallas will inbound from under their own bucket. Mass on the dribble drive, can't hit the floater. And the firm saved the rebound down low. Now Fort Worth with a chance to take their first lead here early on in this one. Smith has to pass it out. Nice cut to the basket for Smith, but couldn't finish at the iron. Three-pointer off the mark for Eldridge. And Dallas couldn't capitalize on that transition. <laughs> Five unanswered points for Fort Worth to tie up the game. Now a chance for them once again to try to take their first lead today. The extra pass to the top of the key, but the three-pointer is off the mark for Duffy. Eldridge goes down low. Nice post move by Howard, and he gets the reverse. Putting Dallas back ahead. Two talented offensive teams clashing here early on. Fort Worth couldn't capitalize in the paint. And on the transition, the Gamblers get another bucket. Scott 
with that tear drop to fall. And Dallas back up by four. The deep three is reined in on that pull up. Defense optional here in Dallas this afternoon. Scott with the alley-oop toss that's knocked away. Well defended there, right on cue by Fort Worth. And the firm turn, the steal into easy points down the floor on the fast break as they move back in front. 12 to 11 in a seesaw first quarter. Eldridge gets right to the rack and banks it in. DK Eldridge with the bucket, putting the gamblers back on top. Eldridge played at New Mexico State. He's a Dallas native. Then went on to spend a number of years playing overseas. Played in Serbia, played in Mexico. Now helping lead the Dallas gamblers here in the PBA. Dallas may have gotten away with a travel there. Instead, it leads to a layup, and the Gamblers are up by three now, just about midway through the opening quarter. Three-pointer clanks off the back iron for Duffy, and here come the Gamblers on the run. They hit the three on the other end. On the pull up to double their lead to six. Largest advantage of the opening quarter. As the Gamblers are on a 7-0 run to move back in front. Catch and shoot three. Knocked down by King. And that trims the deficit in half back to a one possession game. Both teams starting to splash him in from distance. Here's another one from well beyond the arc. It doesn't matter. Jones reining it in from well beyond the three-point line. And these two busting out in a three-point contest. Another one. Warren with the bullseye from downtown. Back and forth we go with threes flying in. It's a three-point game in a high-scoring first quarter. And now Dallas is going to turn it over. They don't like the call. The Gamblers will plead their case. But to no avail, Fort Worth will have the basketball after the turnover. Nice pick and roll. The finger roll pops out. Smith couldn't finish at the rim. The whip pass inside from Eldridge and able to finish his mass at the iron. Eldridge with some nice passes here in the first quarter. Off the screen, pull up threes off the back iron for King. But the putback rattles in. Back to a one possession game. Howard goes to work inside. Oh, couldn't finish, but he drew the foul on that running shot. And Brian Howard will go to the line for a couple. First free throws today for the Gamblers. Been a pretty, a pretty cleanly played first quarter. Good flow to this one up and down the floor. We've gone with a lot of points flying on the board. Yeah, not too many whistles. A couple turnovers early on. And just one foul apiece as we've reached a timeout.
Howard sinks the first foul shot here out of the timeout. And he makes them both. Don, the pace is too slow, man. Four points for Howard here in the opening quarter, and the Gamblers lead by five. Pull up three off the front iron for Guy. But another putback for Fort Worth. This time, Andrus cleans up the miss. And the firm, they've been doing a good job on the offensive glass here in the first quarter. Three ball off the side of the rim for Eldridge. And a foul on the putback try. This time Dallas cleaning up the offensive glass. And they'll go back to the line here. T.J. Taylor. Tractor trailer. Reminiscent of tractor trailer back in the NBA days. T.J. Taylor heads to the line. For a couple of free throws for the Gamblers as he was fouled in the putback. Taylor sinks them both. The two teams have gone a combined five of five at the free throw line here in the opening quarter. Just look at the score. You can see that these are two good offensive teams and they've made the most of their opportunities from the stripe. Andrews couldn't finish the bunny there. Pull up shot. Oh, that's a tough one. But Scott gets it to go on the baseline. Impressive pull up. And the Gamblers are now up seven. Dallas going on another run here late in the opening quarter. Three-pointer is splashed in for Matthews. And it's a two-possession game as we head to the final 90 seconds of the opening stanza. Nice pass by Eldridge, and the finish for Taylor. Foul on that take. We'll get more free throws here for Fort Worth. Chuck Guy using a good crossover to penetrate the lane. And he'll head to the line for two attempts. Makes them both. And the two teams remain perfect from the stripe here in the first quarter. So final minute of the opening quarter here. It's a four-point game. And the Gamblers add on with another three. Eldridge hits it in the corner. Oh, but another foul for the Gamblers that will send Fort Worth back to the line. Or are they going to call this on the floor? Let's see. Yeah, looks like they'll call the foul first on the floor, and Fort Worth will inbound. I think the firm's trying to make the case that it was should have been a shooting foul. And it looks like they are going to turn it into a shooting foul. A little confusion on the floor. But Chuck Guy will head back to the line, which I think is the proper call. Looked like he was in the process of trying to get a shot off. He was airborne. And they're still sorting this out. Let's see. Well, in the end, 
They're going to stick with the original call, call it on the floor. And the firm will have possession here instead, late in the first quarter, down by seven. Guy loses the dribble and turns it over. About five seconds separate the two clocks. Doesn't matter, Dallas won't wait around as the three-pointer's off the mark for Scott. Last second chance here for the firm on the fast break. Three doesn't go, rebound loose. Put back, rims off. And the buzzer will sound here at the end of the first quarter as the Gamblers lead by seven after one quarter of play. We start the second quarter. The Firm with the basketball to begin. They trail by seven. And a nice take to the rack as Guy kisses in the running shot. Good first half today for Chuck Guy as he gets the Firm back within five. Mass creates some space. He's going to try to throw it to himself off the backboard, but it's intercepted by Fort Worth. And the Firm get down the floor for the Dante Smith layup. So it's a one possession game here just about a minute into the second quarter. And a whistle as Eldridge was trying to go to work. Pick and roll, but Eldridge throws it away. Smith with the leaping interception there for Fort Worth in the defensive end. The Firm can tie it with a three-pointer here. Instead, the mid-range jumper from the foul line is knocked through. It's a one-point game early on in the second quarter. The three for Dallas. And Montrell Scott puts them back up by four. Turn around in the lane. Rims off for Andrus. And the Gamblers win the fight for the rebound on the baseline. Pull up three off the mark for Scott. And a foul on that running shot. So Chuck Guy will head back to the line. The two teams want to combine seven of seven at the stripe in the first quarter. And they pick that up here in the second quarter as Guy hits the first. So Guy makes both. It's back to a one possession game, 37-35. Dallas leads with the basketball here. Early on in the second quarter. And the Firm get a stop. Now have a chance to tie on the fast break. And they'll do exactly that on the Andrus lay-in. We're all knotted up at 37. But not for long, the Gamblers move back ahead. TJ Mass, who had the first two baskets of this game, gets another bucket there. 
And now Jones rebounds the missed three. The Gamblers up by two with the basketball. And a foul at the rim with the finish. It's an and one. A hard collision as well. And the and one comes at a price for the gamblers. Emerson Jones still reaching to the back of his head. You always have to be careful on those falls like that. When you hit the floor, you got to try to protect your head. It can be dangerous to try to bang your head off the floor, and it looks like Jones will check out, make sure he's okay. So hopefully Jones is all right as he gets the bucket in the foul. And due to the injury, Jalen Walker will replace him at the stripe. And Walker comes off the bench to stick the free throw. So still, these two teams perfect from the line. The Gamblers use the three-point play. And they go back up by five. Firm will reset. And some debate over whether it was a shot clock violation or not. Dallas believed they had the shot clock violation, but the officials ruling that the ball did hit the rim. And the shot clock, therefore, should be reset for the firm. Well, as Rasheed Wallace would say, ball don't lie. And the firm on that second opportunity, they turn it over anyways off the inbounds play. Fade away in the lane. Good for Mass. He's having a nice first half as well. Got the first two buckets of this game. Seven point lead for Dallas. Just about midway through the second quarter. And a three splashed in for Fort Worth. And now Dallas will turn it over. Eldridge's pass couldn't be handled down the floor by Mass. And Fort Worth will get it back down by four. And back to back buckets for the firm. Cut it to a one possession game. Now a steal. Guy intercepts the inbounds pass. He gets it back on the offensive end. Nice bounce pass inside, but the layup couldn't be finished. Another chance here for Fort Worth. And they rattle in the pull up from the free throw line. Andrews ties up the game at 44. And in the blink of an eye, it's a 7-0 run for Fort Worth to tie it up. Jalen Walker gets the first free throw to bound in off the front iron. So Walker makes both, and these teams again remaining perfect from the line. Two good free throw shooting teams. It's a two-point game here in the first half. Andrus couldn't finish at the rack. Well defended by Mass. Dallas is with the near turnover. Eldridge can't hit the pull up. Here come the firm with numbers. And they tie it up. 
at 46. Dallas turns it over again. But the firm will turn it right back. So the two teams exchange turnovers. We remain tied, 46 apiece. That three rims in and out for King. Eldridge draws the foul on the drive to the rim. And DK Eldridge will head to the line for a pair. Eldridge hits both. Oh, what a pretty pull up. Foul line jumper, good for Chuck Guy. On the stop and pop. And we're tied again, this time at 48. The turnaround from Eldridge doesn't go off the glass. And the rebound got smacked off of one of his teammates. Now Guy hits the pull up from a little further out. This time from beyond the arc. And the Firm have a lead, 51-48. Chuck Guy leading the way for Fort Worth. Back-to-back -back buckets for him. Taylor feeding Mass through the lane down low. Nice play between the two bigs. Final two minutes of the first half. So one point game. Not much separating these two here throughout the first half. Andrus cleans up the miss. He's had a few putbacks today for the firm. He gets stripped inside, and then he commits the foul. So the Gamblers will have the basketball here, down by three. Don, that was a foul. That's on Conte, man. It's on video. It's on video. Exactly. Duff got like a loaf of bread. Passes pass couldn't be handled in the lane, and he'll commit the foul in the backcourt after the Fort Worth steal. Trying to slow down their fast break. Hey, 
That three off the mark. Gamblers can tie it with a triple here. Instead, they work it inside. And Taylor gets the reverse. One point game, final 20 seconds of the opening half. And Fort Worth will turn it over, moving a little too quick. Extra opportunity for the Gamblers. And a foul called on Scott's drive into the lane with six seconds to go. We should be having one side. We should never touch the ball again. Oh, and more confusion over the foul call. Yeah, initially they were going to call it on the floor. But in the end, I think they got it right. Scott's at the line as he hits the first. Just six seconds remain here in the first half. Scott makes both free throws. And that puts Dallas back on top. And now a foul called in the Fort Worth offensive end with five seconds to go. And Guy hits the first free throw. He's had a few trips to the line here in the first half, and he's cashed in on them all. Makes them both. Final seconds of the first half. And that half-court heave does not go for Howard. One-point game at halftime here in Texas. So we start the second half. It's a one-point game. The two teams have switched directions, so the Firm with the basketball first with their one-point lead, now moving down to the far end of the floor in the blue uniforms. And they turn it over on the very first possession. There's a kick ball in the backcourt. Hey, you need to switch baskets. He need to get from under our basket. He never sees anything, never. It's going on three years now. Oh, guy on the explosion to the rim gets the layup. And the firm with the first points here in the second half, they go up by three. Here are the Gamblers working on this end of the floor in the second half in the white uniforms. Nice little turnaround on the baseline for Mass, but he couldn't stick the shot. That three-pointer is good. King with the triple. And the Firm double up their lead. They're up by six here early in the second half. Second opportunity here on the possession for the Gamblers. And a jump ball, looks like, will be called. Coach, you need to give Jeremy some steroids. Don't worry, Jeremy. I got some in my bag. I'm going to shoot you up. 
The firm win the jump ball. And the three, good once again. It's good to be king as he hits. Nice pull up and a good use of the angle off the glass. Gamblers find themselves in a unique position here, falling behind by multiple scores. J. Mass was fouled on his drive on the baseline. They'll call it on the floor. against the gamblers there trying to follow up their own miss. Pretty reverse. And the firm up by nine as Smith gets that basket. Largest lead for the visiting Fort Worth firm. Oh, great job, Dante. Stay there. Oh, that's a travel rail. Gamblers can't finish the putback. Howard couldn't get the putback to go, but it's going to stay here with Dallas. We'll get a third opportunity on the possession. Pass down low. The turnaround. Good with the foul. And one for TJ Mass. disagreements on the floor today between the two teams the officials which it's usually the case you can never please everybody and guy at the free throw line hits the first Waiting on a first missed foul shot of the day. Nice feed by Taylor gets the layup with Mass. It's a six point game here as we head to the midway point of the third. Too long for the firm. 
And Mass gets the layup in transition on the other end for the Gamblers. Cutting it to four. So one point game with 4.35 to go in the third. Guy has his pass knocked away and stolen. Dallas can take the lead back here. Three-pointer doesn't go, and Andrus has the rebound for the firm. The firm protecting the advantage. That three from the corner is off the mark. A leak out for Dallas. And Eldridge gets the shot blocked from behind by Matthews, but he cleans up his own miss. Good stick to itiveness from DK Eldridge, and he puts the gamblers back ahead. Driving the kick. And the corner three is buried. Warren hits the triple and the firmer back ahead. 70 to 68 with 335 left in the third. Gamblers get the basket inside, and we're all tied at 70. Guys, three off the mark. Eldridge, the pull up. He can't hit it. Now a fast break opportunity for the firm. And they can't connect from downtown either. But the mid-range jumper good on the pull-up. Andrus also having a nice day for the firm. He puts Fort Worth back ahead. 72-70. 2.20 left here in the third. These two have been separated by single digits throughout. As the gamblers turn it over. It's been a close spread throughout this game between these two. With the high potent offensive attacks. Foul inside as the pass went to TJ Mass. He was getting held. And so the gamblers will inbound. Hey, it's cause they watch that NBA bullshit. Cause everybody out there traveling. You niggas just traveling. Like, the fuck? Eldridge will slow things down here for the gamblers. 
Three-pointer is short for Walker. And a foul in the backcourt as Taylor was trying to pop away that rebound from Chuck Guy. So the firm will have it with the two-point lead here late in the third. This will lead to free throws. And the first missed foul shot of the game comes with a minute 24 to go in the third. Chuck Guy couldn't hit it. A firm lead by three. Eldridge couldn't finish that tough running shot with some contact. But the firm can't add on. And Mass gets the bucket on the fast break for the Gamblers to get it back to a one-point game in the final minute of, of the third. Now the Gamblers with a steal. A chance to take the lead back. And they'll do exactly that. So the Gamblers back in front. Only about two seconds separate the clocks here at the end of the third quarter. And Fort Worth will use up as much time as they can. Now trailing by a point. They'll try to take the lead with them to the fourth quarter. Oh, nice take, and there's the bucket. Final five seconds. Eldridge off the mark. Put back. Good. Are they going to count it for Mass? And the Gamblers will take a one-point lead to the fourth. Start of the fourth quarter, it's a one-point game. Gamblers with the one-point lead, and they open up this final frame with the basketball. It's been a fun one here in Texas. And as the Gamblers get the quick basket to push your lead up to three. Back and forth battle today, neither team is led by double digits. Mostly these two teams have been separated by one or two possessions throughout. And the points have been plentiful this afternoon. Eldridge can't connect from downtown. Nice pass inside for the bucket. So Duffy gets it back to a one-point game. 78-77. Just over a minute into the final quarter. And it is a three-pointer there for Walker. It's the three for the Gamblers. As they try to keep Fort Worth at an arm's length, and now a steal for Dallas. Already up by four, the Gamblers can continue to extend. Pull up three, doesn't go for Scott. And on the other end, Chuck Guy hits the open three ball. A one point game as we head to the final eight minutes.
And with the shot clock winding down, the Gamblers hit the three ball. A big bucket there for Dallas. Baseline jump, too strong for Andrus, but a second chance here for Fort Worth. And a three for Duffy off the mark. Third opportunity, good with the foul. Smith gets the putback plus the bonus. On the third shot of the possession for Fort Worth. Tell him you ain't never beat us. Everybody got a lot to say. You know we ain't lost in three years. Now it looks like a loose ball foul will be called, but both teams scrambling after that basketball. After a lengthy delay, they sort out the confusion in the call. And the firm will have the basketball down by one with less than seven to go. Guy sticks the pull up and he puts Fort Worth back on top. Strong finish there in the lane for Scott. It's 86 all. Foul on the putback and TJ Mass with the N1. Gamblers move back ahead by three on the TJ Mass three point play. And now a turnover for Fort Worth. The Gamblers with the ball back. get the basket to go up by five. Dallas trying to pull away. We're heading towards the midway point of the final quarter. Guy foul plus the bucket. An and one for Chuck Guy who's been splendid today for the firm.
So a chance here for the Firm to tie it up with a basket after they get the defensive stop. Under five to go. Two-point game here in the fourth quarter. They get the hands into their star, the ball in the hands of their star guy who fired it down low and a nice pass to King that was well defended. The firm will inbound. Guy off balance three with the shot clock expiring and a foul on the putback or at least the rebound. We'll see if they call it a, on the floor or in the air. King heads to the line. And the first is good. Tied at 91 after the free throws. Both teams have been excellent from the line today. And now a turnover for the Gamblers. Jones lost it in the corner. And Fort Worth with the ball and a chance to take the lead back. Keep possession here in a tied game as they run some subs on. We got your jersey waving. And now they're going to say it's a free throw opportunity, it appears, for a guy with the firm and the bonus. First one rims in and out. A big miss for Chuck Guy, who's been so good today. And the firm back on top by one. Front him now. Front him now. Final four minutes in a one-point game. And the Firm get a big defensive stop. On the fast break, they add on to the lead. Smith with the basket, and Fort Worth's up by three. Back-to-back -back stops for the Firm. And after a Fort Worth timeout, they have the basketball up by three with 3.30 to go. Oh, pretty move by Chuck Guy to get all the way to the iron for the lay-in. And Fort Worth is up by five. And now a careless turnover for the Gamblers on a miscommunication. They got a zig when they were expecting a zag from Jalen Walker. And the Gamblers turn it over. Big possession here for the firm that can try to go up by at least three possessions, potentially four, with under three minutes to go. Pick and roll action. And the layup good for Smith, assisted by Chuck Guy, who's been the star today for Fort Worth. It's a seven-point lead. Nice reverse layup there for Scott. 
to draw the gamblers a little bit closer. Three ball, rims the basket for Warren. The gamblers can make it a one possession game. Gamblers will have possession after the foul on the floor. And they get it inbounded, down by five, needing a bucket here. And it looks like Howard will get two free throws after the foul. And Brian Howard will step to the line for some big foul shots here for the Gamblers. Makes it a four-point game. Getting one out of two. Two minutes to go. The firm lead by four with the basketball. And Duffy gets the shot blocked from behind. A big stop by the Gamblers. Now they can make it a one-possession game in transition. Layup doesn't go for Mass, but fighting for the rebound and getting the put back is Brian Howard. And we're separated by just two points with under 90 seconds to go. The firm lead 98-96 with the basketball. And a foul called after the pass was released. The firm could have had a stop there, but they low bridge King while he was airborne delivering the pass. And the firm will keep possession with a minute 16 to go, a two point game. Every possession so crucial here, this late in the contest. Seems like every call today has brought about a great debate on the floor. Check focus. So big free throws here for the firm. With a minute 16 to go in a two-point game. Right. I understand, but sometimes we got to put our pride aside. They, he don't know no better. And the firm. Double their lead as Chaston King hits two big foul shots and Fort Worth moves back ahead by four. They've hit the century mark, 100 to 96. With 116 to go.
So now Brian Howard with some big free throws. Howard with two big foul shots, gets it back to a two-point game. Final minute of this one. Guy on the pull-up, drains it. The three ball. And the firm go up by five. That could have been the backbreaker. But a good response on the other end as TJ Mass hits a three. Back to a two-point game, final 30 seconds, and the Gamblers have to intentionally foul. So 25 seconds to go in a two-point game. And Chuck Guy will be shooting two. And the firm are up by four. Both teams with clutch free throws throughout this game, but especially here down the stretch. So the Gamblers, after a timeout, will have the basketball down by four with 25 seconds to go. And a jump ball called as Walker gets tied up. A big win on that jump ball there for the firm, and they'll be intentionally fouled. They're already up by four in the final seconds of this one. Two misses there at the line, but only 10 seconds left for the Gamblers, down by four. And Fort Worth gets the stop. They'll get the win. The exclamation point added by Andrus at the very end. And the Firm get out of here with the victory. A come from behind win in this in-state matchup. In a great offensive battle and a fun one tonight, the Firm hold on to beat the Gamblers. As you've been watching, PBA Basketball by 1891. You're all across Triangle Media. Good handle. What a shot. Breakaway dunk. Thank <laughs> you.
Thank you.